patient is a 74-year-old male. Prior to his intestinal surgery, the antibiotic sofotin was given prophylactically. Three days post-op, an infection developed at the surgical site, and he required further antibiotic treatment. Subsequently, he developed painful white spots in his mouth. He was diagnosed with thrush secondary to the antibiotic therapy. While localized fungal infections can be annoying and uncomfortable, these organisms can cause life-threatening systemic infections. A 60-year-old male arrived at the emergency room with complaints of fever, chills, diaphoresis, and weakness. These symptoms have occurred intermittently for the last month. Two years earlier, he had received a prosthetic heart valve. He reports that he has gradually been less able to participate in activities of daily living. On exam, temperature was 100.5 orally. A murmur was heard at the site of the aortic valve. The patient was admitted to the hospital. An echocardiogram was done, which confirmed vegetative growth on the aortic valve. Blood cultures were drawn from multiple sites to identify the organism involved. Blood culture results demonstrated a systemic fungal infection with candida. The patient was diagnosed with fungal endocarditis. Systemic mycotic infection occurs when the fungus enters the bloodstream, allowing the organism to colonize vital organs. Such infections are often seen in patients who are immunosuppressed due to chemotherapy, are on medication to prevent rejection of an organ transplant, have severe burns, or immune disorders such as AIDS. Antifungal agents used to treat infections, such as those incurred by both of the patients seen earlier, may be grouped according to their chemical structure and the mechanisms of their action. There are four main types, polyene, imatazole, flucytosine, and griseofulvin. Polyenes alter fungal cellular metabolism by binding to sterols leading to the death of the organism. Examples include nystatin, mycostatin, and amphotericin B, fungazone. The patient diagnosed with thrush was prescribed 500,000 units of nystatin mycostatin, in oral suspension to swish in the mouth and swallow four times a day. Nystatin is an effective antifungal for superficial candidiasis. Flucanazole, diflucan, and itrocanazole, sporinox, are other possible treatments for this disorder. Nystatin is prescribed as a powder for fungal diaper rash and as a suppository or cream for the treatment of vaginal candidiasis. It is also available in tablet form. Other available medications include mycanazole, monostat, chlortrimazole, gynolotrimin or mycelex, acanazole, spectazole, and terconazole, terazole. The patient whose blood culture demonstrated a systemic candidiasis was treated with the antifungal agent amphotericin B intravenously. Non-lipid amphotericin B, fungazone, is the agent primarily used for systemic fungal infections. However, it has many side effects, and other agents are coming into use for this disorder, including lipid amphotericin B, abelset, caspofungin, cancidus, mycofungin, mycamin, anadulin fungin, araxis, flucytosine, ancobon, Flucanazole, Diflucan, Voracanazole, VFIND, and Posacanazole, Noxophil.